hide everything. Okay, so last time I, I made a mistake. This actually gets the heading data one zero and the link here actually uh, is data three zero. So I made a mistake there on my end. So um, just be aware of that. So uh, all I did was comment these out so we could reference to it. What we want to do now is just concatenate or get our term and be able to prepend it upon our UL that we named output. So I believe uh, you should be somewhat familiar with this. Um, so basically we're just going to target it, target output, out, our output ID, and we're going to say dot prepend. And what we're going to do here is um, output our data one zero. So let's go ahead and save that and put in hello world. And when we submit it, we should get our hello world. Cool. So it's outputting correctly. Now what, what do we need to do next? Well, um, let's go ahead and declare it as a list item. So that we, uh, because what we want to do is prepend it as a list, an li. So how can we do that? It's like we have a little bit of syntax problem, so let's just start fresh. We'll create our for loop here. Create our count variable i. Say why well, i is less than data one dot length. I plus plus. And then we'll throw it in here. All we have to do is change this so it iterates through the array with whatever current count we're on. Let's go ahead and type in hello world, submit it, and there it is. And that is the bulk of our code. Uh, everything after this point, minus one, one little bug, and we'll go, we'll show that off in a second, we will be able to uh, do with styling. So we have our, we have our output, we have our URL, we have our heading, we have our description. Okay, so what's the bug I'm talking about? When so when working on this, let's go ahead and choose a second word. We can, instead of hello world, we'll say goodbye. Now when we submit it, you'll notice that it prepends on top of it, but it doesn't actually delete the information. So what we can do to fix that is above the for loop, outside the for loop, but within the, the success function, all we can do, all we need to do is make sure to wipe out the content that's in there. So we're gonna basically just replace it with blank content. So HTML, empty character space. So now when we save, it will still display what we're searching because we're displaying it before we display the results using the jQuery. But when we do hello world, like so, it displays. But now when we do goodbye, it will only display goodbye and no hello world. So definitely just something that has to be trouble troubleshooting as you do it. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and support me on Patreon. I appreciate it a ton, guys. Hey guys, make sure to check out my Twitch API videos, which will be coming out pretty soon, as well as my new series, Drunk Developers, where I ask questions on how did you get into the field, what was the favorite thing you ever did, what languages do you recommend learning for a beginner, all this sort of stuff while having drinks. So I hope you guys enjoy that and keep an eye out for it. See you next time.